The SABL became a national and an international issue when it was uncovered that over 5.2 million hectares of customary land was converted to agriculture business leases without the knowledge of customary landowners. This caused a nationwide protest and calls for this to be put right. An investigation was completed last year and it was recommended that a majority of these leases be revoked because they were illegal. A lot of these leases were being used as a cover for illegal logging operations and were not genuine agriculture businesses. Until today, nothing has been done to implement that recommendation. I know there's a lot of public out there who are inquiring why isn't, isn't the uh, recommendations been implemented fully. Again, I want to reassure the public that NEC and cabinet has, uh, cabinet has made uh, a very firm recommendation that all uh, SABL licenses be cancelled. A team is already in place to begin monitoring work next year. The handling of the Rabaul Queen maritime disaster was swift. It was hoped that the SABL and finance inquiries would have been given the same attention. Unfortunately, the bureaucracy have not been as swift in their response to these matters. Legislative I go, we'll, we'll, we'll check every recommendation and, and, and try and work them out when I know, when I know, you know, you know, you know implemented, I try and have relevant agency law implementing. Over the last 10 years, concerns about illegal logging in the country have become an international embarrassment for Papua New Guinea. While the debate rages, communities in places such as Oro and West New Britain are still dealing with alleged abuse of their customary land rights. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.